A pleasant day everyone! In this video, we are going to explore some of the streets and alleyways of downtown Wellington. Our walk will go on Dixon Street, then to Eva Street, which goes straight to Leeds Street. We will come out of Gusney Street and we turn right to Cuba Street. Are you ready? Let's begin! Tiaro Park on Dixon Street was originally called Pigeon Park. This park forms the shape of a canoe. There are 30,000 handmade mosaic tiles symbolising waves. On the tiles and in the water feature are the names of the Maori ancestors. Across from Tiaro Park is the Opera House. It is a hundred year old theatre and a popular venue for performances and social events. Eva Street is an inner city alley walkway painted with bright coloured walls and funky designs. Further up this alleyway is Leeds Street. In the 1920s, Hannah's Footwear Factory and Office were housed in this area. Due to the rise of shoe imports, Hannah's Footwear production declined and eventually ended in the 1980s. In the 1990s, the buildings were converted into New York style loft apartments. This area is now known as Hannah's Laneway, a gem for food lovers. It is a place for artisan shops such as boutique peanut butter, chocolate factory, pizza, bakery, burgers and craft beers. After having peanut butter on toast, we can't resist having an early brunch. Here at this bakery, we had pulled pork pie and cheese and mince pie. It was delicious. <laughs> Coming out of Leeds Street, we walk past the car park with the colorful mural of David Bowie. Then we turn right into Cuba Street to go to the Left Bank Arcade. Left Bank Arcade is off Cuba Street. In this compact alleyway you will find in a diverse mix of shops Delicious Chinese and Malaysian cuisine, bookshops and art studios. There is an apartment block visible in the middle of the Left Bank Arcade. For authentic Malaysian food, we recommend Satay Kingdom Cafe.
Cuba Street is a famous street in Wellington. The street was named after an early settler ship called the Cuba, which arrived in 1840. This area is divided into three distinct parts, lower, central and upper. In 1969, the middle section was permanently closed to traffic. This became known as Cuba Mall, where the famous bucket fountain can be found. Cuba Street also has the most number of Victorian and Edwardian commercial architecture buildings in Wellington. The buildings age range from 1890s to the 1930s. Here are some of the heritage buildings. Lastly, Cuba Street is a foodie's haven. It boasts of many cafes and restaurants. It has a wide range of shops and is also the hub for entertainers and buskers, especially on the weekend. The last part of our walk for the day was to see some artworks. We walked from Lower Cuba Street to Harry Street. The fencing on Harry Street alongside the Wellington Central Library had been enhanced with large round decals. The artworks were created by three female artists dubbed as the Dream Girls Collective. The aim is to add vibrancy to areas in the Central Business District that are currently feeling the effect of the pandemic. This is the end of our walk around the streets and alleyways of Wellington. See you in our next video. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat po.